You know what? I had no plan of making this video, but there are a couple of things that I found out and it, they were just so freaking insane that I said, you know what? I gotta make this video no matter what. Even if there's only like how many days? Six days, 59 minutes left for our banner to go away. I hope I finish this video. I know I have talked a lot about national teams, but this time I want to show you something with Kazuha and Shangling. This is going to be absolutely crazy. All right, so Shangling, Shangling's build is 63, 130, 245. I think this is a good energy recharge that you usually go and have on your Shangling. This is just the first thing that got me curious. Look at Shangling's damage, okay? 38,000. 38,000 per Pyronado. I'm sure it's looking insane. Yeah, Shangling, you're doing good. Ow, ow, ow. Don't, don't hit me. Don't hit me, bro. That was Kazuha with 777 Ultra Mastery with the Favonius Sword. Now, this is the place where I want to take it a step further. Now, I'm going to replace this guy with Raiden Shogun. The campaign begins. Yeah, the campaign begins. Now, Shangling. With Raiden Shogun, you can actually go and have Shangling build in a different way. But Raiden Shogun will be also very different when we go and use Shangling with Raiden Shogun. So I will keep Energy Recharge Sands on Raiden Shogun with Energy Recharge Weapon. 260 Energy Recharge. I will not go lower than this. This is the sweet spot. Then go to your Shangling and give her... Either you can give her Dragon Spain, which is going to be this one, or you can give this weapon, which is Crit one. I'll go and give her this, and this is what the stats looks like in the end. Wait, a little bit more damage. Okay, 39,000. And we haven't done Burst of Red and Shogun. Yeah, Torn to Oblivion. Come on. Now, look at the energy issue. Uh, don't worry, man, you're not gonna face this. If you do rotations, you're not gonna have any energy issue with these characters. That's what Raiden Shogun does. Like, she just replaced Kazuha for Shangling's team. It's just crazy. By the way, if you're using Xing Cho, and if you don't have his C6, what you can do is, like, use Favonius Sword on him. Make your life a little bit more easier for Shangling and for Raiden Shogun, all right? I'm sorry about that, bro. I wasted your time. I'm gonna leave now. Ouch. He, he ran away. <laughs> Asleep. If you want, you can also go and have something like Favonius on your Red Shogun. It's gonna make your life way more easy in getting particles for every other character. That way you can increase their damage, okay? So that's how I like to use Red National Team. Reduce her damage, increase their damage. These two characters will do more damage. She will do slightly less damage and, and that's what we're looking at. That was the first thing that she did and I'm just so freaking excited to show you the other things. <laughs> All right, yesterday, I wanted to make a video where I was just comparing Nahida with Ryan and Shogun that who's the better Archon for you if you want to go and wish for only one of them, right? That was the entire freaking plan of yesterday's video. Normally what happened is like, I don't generally go and min-max a character to go and use them, but this time did my best to give them the best stats I can. Raiden Shogun, the way you want to use for aggravate teams, like you want to give her crit rate. You can go and use catch, refine five it, you get a lot of crit rate. And on top of that, I'm not looking for 99. This is what the stats looks like. 74, 187, 224. I think having really high crit rate on Raiden Shogun is like a freaking blessing and I cannot get enough of using her like this. Facial. This is what my facial looks like. My 2000 attack, 7180. She's using full, em full elemental mastery by the way. And this is an aggravate team with Bennett who's using Akela Favonia. And I just wanted to show you the damage of this team. I mean the damage is absolutely insane. He ran away again. I'm fine. 99,000. That's 100k burst. And we're hitting aggravates for 24,000. Do you see how crazy that is? This is an aggravate team, man. Like, you don't go and play Raiden Shogun like this. Like, keep... Oh, wait, what did I just do? <laughs> oh, wait, wait, wait. Bro, don't run. No, 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 no. Yeah, nice. Come on, let me just pick, take a picture. Family picture. Nice. Burst. You don't play Raiden Shogun like this, man. Now, when you do reach this stage... Okay, just do this. <laughs> I mean, uh, official. You can do a lot of damage with just Fischl and, you know, Nahida. You don't have to worry too much about it, you know. <laughs> yeah, like, we just killed this guy with just Nahida, all right? One minute, 20 seconds. The first half. And he ran away twice from me. Hi, Beta. How you been? It's, it's been a while. Now, this is supposed to be so much funny. Like, nobody expects this. You know, when people normally go and make a team like this, what they do is, like, they have really low crit rate on her. So if I go and reduce her crit rate, like a normal human being, I'll just reduce her crit rate and just see how, how much damage will drop. Like this is 64. For most of the people, this is good crit rate, okay? First, nice. Make yourself at home. Okay, uh, this this sucks. But what I want to show you is like, you're going to do less 20,000, okay? If you're not critting, majority of your attacks, 
the amount of 20,000, 25,000 you go and do because of aggravate, that'll just go and reduce a lot. Uh, wait, 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 bro. No. no, 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 let me sleep. As long as like we're doing aggravates, make sure her crit rate is 70, 74, 75% or something like this, okay? Don't reduce this number, okay? Low attack, more critical damage, energy recharge, mediocre energy recharge is just fine. Even with Fischl, I think energy recharge is good. Oof, now this, this team was with Nahida. All right, now let's make the other one with Farina. Now, when you are doing this with Farina, my advice is Baiju. What you want to do is reduce his HP. I know, I know, I know. Most of the smart people on this planet are going to say Baiju performs much better with 50,000 HP. Energy recharge with healing bonus, okay? Not HP percentage. You want to make him heal more instead of having lots of HP. This weapon is just broken, like unbelievably good. So refinement three and it's fantastic so far. Yeah, did I show you that I'm using four piece golden troop on her? Yeah, I'm going to keep it very real. The show is so good with Raiden Shogun. It's just crazy. Like I never expected her to be this good with Raiden Shogun first, but I'm just shocked. Like I'm, I'm seriously shocked. You don't go and do lots of 20,000 from Raiden Shogun. But you do a lot of taser, right? And Fischl's helps a lot. Again, he just ran away. Come on. Rose. Burst is not ready. You skill burst. Ah, oh, come on. Why the game is lagging so much, bro? The damage is just basically the same. All the all three of these teams are gonna give you basically the same damage. Thank you for your service. Style. Oh, no, no. You're hitting the wrong character. Enemy, enemy. I'll say like this team has the advantage that you don't have to switch to your... What's her name again? I actually tried out this team, this very exact team with Kazuma and let me tell you... You skill, burst. Ah, burst. You swirl Electro if you do rotation exactly like this. I mean, the initial damage and everything is fine, but you actually got to swirl Electro every single time. Sometimes it's just impossible to go and actually do that. But I feel like doing the same rotations with Fischl, uh, come on, change the character game, was way more simple. Come on, bro, why the f did you run off? I think this is exactly the reason this game, bro. That's why I don't like to use Kazuha, you understand? But if there are lots of enemies, by all means, go and use this team. The damage is absolutely cracked. In both the teams where I had Nahida and her, I had Yaimiko. And let me tell you, well, since you asked so nicely, it's really hard to bring out the best from each of these characters. Okay, I will throw her away like out of the window. Like seriously, she's gonna fly away. Okay, like a bird. She's not a bird, but again, she'll she'll she's smart. Ah, <sighs> now let's go to the Hyper Bloom team. I'm not a huge fan of it, but it does a lot of damage. <laughs> Just give her a lot of elemental mastery. Artifact set does not matter. Just anyway, if you can give her lots of elemental mastery. That'll do the trick. And in this team, you can actually reduce Nahida's elemental mastery because you don't need her to have any. All right, low elemental mastery, critical damage, Nahida. You will be keeping Raiden Shogun on the field all the time. You know what? I'll just do this again. It's just so boring. <laughs> How much Dendro? Yeah, we're hitting for quite a lot of damage. 5,000. Yeah, my Shinxia is pretty good. 33,000 Dendro damage bonus, all right? I mean, Dendro, no, no, 33,000 for Hyper Blooms. All right, that's a lot of damage we're doing. Very boring, very boring, but like the damage is kind of insane. <laughs> uh, hi bro, how you been? It's it's um, picture time. No one has to worry about anything, you will just kill them all. Like, <laughs> it's just funny, man. The thing is like, you cannot kill anyone inside this team because Zhongli will never let any of your character die. If you don't know, this guy increases damage of everything because of this thing, you know, this thing has rest shred and also my brand shogun is level 85 so if i give her five more levels i will do much 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 higher damage i think i talked about almost everything 